the seminar was the long, slow flip, right? What we call the two-year flip. Uh, producer Mason, the young MG himself, has given a couple of updates on their two-year flip scenario. Let me ask you a quick question, Mason. At this moment, are you feeling better or worse about your two-year flip outcome than you were when you purchased your home less than a year ago? Much better. Right? I'd like to say one reason why. Yeah, let's hear it. Which is a new one I hadn't considered when we mm-hmm. bought the house. Yep. Our power didn't go out throughout the entire snowstorm. The new value add we're, on we're the about fire station. We're about 100 grid. yards from a hospital. <laughs> yep. And I think that's probably why. Yep. And I've seen, well, our team has talked about it, how there are sellers putting that in the description of some of the properties saying right. this this property did not lose, lose power during the snowstorm. Now, I don't know that that value anchor is going to last forever, but it is a very real thing right now. We are seeing, you know, good agents market that this home did not lose power. This home is on the same grid as a fire station, as a hospital, as a water, you know, station or whatever. Um, I, I, I would love to, I'm not currently in a two year flip situation, but I would love to be in your shoes where there was a slight nervousness when you bought the home because it was a good market. It was a seller's market. Now, David on our team helped you get a better than normal, you know, significantly better than normal deal on a home during COVID, during a seller's market. But since then, not only have you guys done great work to the house, which is part of the two-year flip process, but you've gotten to ride this ride of an unbelievably rapidly appreciating market where the value of your home goes up every day, which makes it easier to do those repairs, knowing that the return on that work is very much there. Um, and you guys are, you know, somewhere in the ballpark, I think what year to a year and a half from intending to sell that and go do it again, or go settle into something more long-term and my projection of the market based on current market statistics and trends is that every single day between now and the day you sell will be a day of residential home value appreciation in Richardson, Texas, where you happen to be and really across DFW. So that's the state of the market right now, folks. That's that's one way to tell it is through Mason's two year flip scenario where if you're reluctant to buy a home right now because prices are crazy and they are, there's just no arguing that prices are higher than they've really ever been in DFW for almost every home segment and almost every community. There's echo. There's all, there's always exceptions, but for almost everyone, but here's the projection that that will continue to happen for at least another year for, for the foreseeable future, for, for reasons that aren't even necessarily worth spending a ton of time on right now, but because of jobs, because of population growth, because of um, the local economic opportunity. Of course, there's some challenges in the local economy right now with COVID and job loss and weather and things like that. But generally speaking, locally, we have every single logical data-driven reason to believe that the appreciation and the growth of our market will continue. 